what's going on everybody welcome back to another adventure time prospecting here's our sarsaparilla spokes monster of the day mr baby crawfish we used to these suckers get big we eat of them around here with this little feller he's just a baby so we're gonna set him free let him find a nice little spot to hide I might eat of him when he gets a little bigger. Go ahead, Spokes Monster. Anyhow, guys, here we are at Honeysuckle Creek. We turned a little crayfish loose, a little crawdaver. We got our sluices set up. Let me show you. Baby sluice and a bigger sluice. In beautiful Honeysuckle Creek. Anyhow, guys, welcome to Adventure Time Prospecting. Let's find us a little bit of West Virginia gold in this beautiful holler on this beautiful creek, Honeysuckle Creek. And we'll be right back with y'all, and we'll get it going. Look at these pretty plants I'm growing. Look at these beautiful plants I'm growing. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. This is what we're doing today, guys. See this here clump of grass? You see y'all in good roots? I'm letting that sit in there and unclay that big glob. But let me show you what we're doing today. Today on Adventure Time Prospecting, you see this big clump of grass on top of this big clump of bedrock? Well, they was a big clump of grass. Right in this area and as you can see look at this this is a crack in this bedrock nice bedrock crack look at this this is roots see that look at all that dark material in there now some of it smells like rot like creek rot you know vegetable rot but a lot of it don't and look down in here in the bottom. It gets gets heavier with clay and quartz all stuck in these roots and moss. So we got moss, we got grass roots, and we got bedrock. So we're mossing today. We're getting into grass roots today and bedrock cracks. And we're going to see what comes out of this because this is a horse of a different color than I've seen before. Look at all, I mean, this guy's down here in this bedrock crack. It's almost like miner's moss. I mean, look at these roots. How fine they are. Look at that. We got roots and we got moss. So we're going to be doing some mossing today, guys. We're going to be going after the moss. Scrubbing it all out real good. Just like that. Look how clean it is now. So we're going to be doing that, guys. We're going to be getting this stuff out of here. These big clumps of grass roots. We're going to be getting them out of here today, guys. And we're going to be rinsing them off in this bucket. And then we're going to be classifying it in that bucket. And then we're going to start running it, guys. I haven't run any yet. I just kind of came upon this little spot here on Honeysuckle Creek. And I just couldn't resist some of this bedrock flaked out of the way that made this crack easy to get to it was like that then I popped this off and that opened it all up and I stole the dish brush from the house that what I clean dishes with <laughs> of course I bought a new one first but I'll use this puppy to get in here and scrape some of that clean and then I got my tools down there and I got my bucket right here and anyhow, guys, I just wanted to show you all that stuff growing in these cracks. And yeah, I'm in West Virginia, as most of you guys know. But the ones that don't know, you know, West Virginia, this is not a state known for gold. There's been zero successful gold mining operations in West Virginia. Now, I'm not in Western Virginia, like Withdale. I'm in West Virginia, which... Might sound simple, but a lot of people don't know we're a state of our own. But we don't have active gold mines here. We have no successful history of 
successful gold mines here. People's tried to mine what little bit of gold we got, but it's never been enough to make a payday for them or to keep a mine open or to even open one. But for the recreational prospector, there's plenty out here to be found. What you want to look for is creeks that's got some quartz pebbles in it. And look at here, there's a little quartz pebble right there. And once you start finding quartz, ground washed river quartz, I mean, look at here. Little pieces of quartz. I mean, once you start finding quartz pebbles, there's some sitting in the creek bed. I mean, it's all over the place. You want to find some quartz. Preferably, you want to find some bedrock. You want to find some grass roots. You want to find some moss. You want to find all kinds of indicators. But your quartz is going to be your number one indicator. That's going to let you know, hey, there might be something in this area to look further. And then once you start finding a little bit of quartz, you want to find nooks and crannies like grass roots, like bedrock, like moss, like everything I've got right here. And you want to get you some of this, and you want to test pan it. I got me a pan over here. I rarely pan at the creek, but you don't know. We might do it today. I got my pan. I got my pitcher. I got me a beef stick. I got me some uh, good coconut waters. I got me some sweet tea, because I am in the south after all. I got my shirt. I got an empty water jug bottle there. <clears throat> got me some hand towels. I got my rowboat knee pads, a scoop, gloves, a gutter, gutter thing. I got screwdrivers. I've got buckets. I've got sluices. I've got my bucket here that y'all showed me all kinds of love on, getting me stickers and stuff. I'm going to show y'all how this bedrock works here. This is just a piece I just saw. And one under it moves as well. And then you pop it up. See that moss? You put that puppy in your bucket and you scrub that moss with that brush. That's what you do. And see this bottom one pop loose as well. And you see this glop? What you do is you put that in your bucket and you scrub it off and you scrub it good. I'm telling you, you scrub it good. Now I'm gonna try to bust up some of this bedrock and see if I can't get it to feather off back in there some more. So let's set this puppy up and we'll get to busting some of it and we'll see where we get before we start cleaning it off. We'll try to bust the mess of it up. So I'll be right back. That good stuff. That, just like miners' moss. Clean it out real good. When you think you got it clean enough, you clean it again. Alright folks, so that's what we're doing. And you seen that big glob come out here. And we're going to try to work this on back through this scene. Get as much of this stuff out as we can. 
Then I'll see y'all back down at the classifier. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. And then we'll pop, start popping it through these sluices. I'm aiming to show y'all how to find gold. And that's what I'm aiming to do. And that's what I'm going to do. So y'all stick around. I'm going to clean this up. And I'll see y'all back at the back there at the classifier. Alright guys, I did a test pan. Since I brought the pan with me. I did one little test pan. and You can see it right there. It should be in the center of your screen. I did find one little one little piece sitting right yonder and there was another yeah right there should be in the center of your screen that little tiny yellow thing right on that scratch plastic it looks like a little triangle that's a that's a little piece uh, just one little test pan I added about a quarter quarter full I got two little specks out of it so that's okay I'll put it in here. At least that way we know we got two little specks that we're going to find. Anyhow, I took the material from that bucket that we dug, that we got out of bedrock up there. All I did was fill that bucket up, you know, about halfway full. Brought it down here and worked it through this classifier. And as you can see, it's full right now. It's an eighth inch. And what you do is you fill your bucket up. And you give him a little spin. I will tell y'all that prospecting is a good exercise. And then you're left with pretty clean stuff. But when, when you're dealing with roots and stuff, guys, you want to really break them puppies up. You want to you know, break them up individual. Make sure they're clean. And then put them out of your classifier. You don't want to just, I don't like dumping them all over the place. But, and the thing, the reason I classify down to an eighth, guys, is like I said, the gold in West Virginia is like super tiny. So why do you want to send rocks, you know, this big through your sluice when you're just trying to get the small flower gold that's in the creek? Because there's no bigger gold. I found a couple of flakes, but nothing, nothing that an eighth inch classifier would even come close to stopping. Here's some of the tailings down in there. See how clean that's getting all that quartz and there's no small sands in it. All the small stuff is gone. See how there's nothing but vegetables and whatnot. So with that, I can pour it out. And here's the stuff that's not going through the sleeves. You got big old chunks of quartz. You got big hematite castings. Thing. You got chunks of iron ore, you got this, that, and the third. Anyhow, all this stuff is not going to be running through our sluice. You know, because that's competition we don't need. I'll show you what we are running. This. It's like a coarse beach sand. So there's a lot less competition for our small gold now. And a lot of people say I waste my time, but... I'm out prospecting, so I'm kind of just having fun and wasting time anyhow on a day off. So, yeah, it's all good regardless. So, anyhow, that's all there is for classifying. I'm showing y'all how to find it again. We're going to the bedrock, moss, and roots. Bedrock, moss, and roots. That's what we're doing today, guys. I'm going to try my darndest to show y'all how to find a little bit of gold. That's what I'm all about. I don't find no great big nuggets and crazy finds, but every now and then I'll find an arrow point, some kind of artifact. And I usually find a couple pieces of collar here in West Virginia, which there ain't too many people. I think I'm the only YouTube channel on West Virginia Gold Prospect, and I'm pretty near sure of it, so I guess I'm original at something. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to take this here bucket. And we'll get run through the sluice and I'll show y'all how to feed it uh, and I'll explain this sluice a little bit to you and we'll be right back and I'll see you all then all right here we got us a nice clean sluice let's get a little material run in it like I said the gold here is real small so I like to run it real slowly 
give that gold a little bit of time to not have to fight so much to get laid down in there. Once you feed a little bit in there, you just let her sit. Let them cells do the work. And once she's cleaned out a little bit, you just float a little bit more in there. And then, in my opinion, you're off to having one of the best days ever. Even if you don't find no gold. You're just out hanging by the creek. Listening to the water. Right here by the woods, you can hear the frogs and the squirrels are hollering. The water are bubbling. Have you a good old time out in beautiful Mother Nature? There's nothing like it, folks. I feel blessed every day that I can come to a spot like this and prospect just about 20 minutes away from the house. My baby sleeps up yonder. We'll give him a little taste here directly. That's it. You just want to run her nice and slow. And down here at the end of my sluice where everything's coming out, I got a school of minnows down there. Guess they're looking for whatever little critters get stirred up for my activities. That's cool too. For sure. Anyhow, guys, we'll give y'all a break from my talking. And I will run this material. And then we're going to get some more of it. And run some more of it. I'm going to try to get three buckets out of here today. I'm going to go to the house and take care of some stuff. There's some heavy showing up. Always a good sign. We'll see y'all back in a bit. Alright guys, before we get to run that last bucket, I want to show you the tailings that's coming out of these cracks. Of course, you can see a lot of the busted up angled bedrock. And you also see a lot of round river washed quartz. Heavy mineralized. It's all over the place. Iron stained quartz. That's stuff you want to look for guys. This kind of stuff. Unfortunately some broken glass and trash. But this kind of quartz. This, this is the kind of cobbles you're looking for guys. Nice iron stained quartz. Where does it come out of? Well, I can show you it too. You see this great big boulder right yonder? Let's get up close and personal with it, shall we? This is what you call conglomerate. You can see there's all kinds of quartz hung up in this sandstone matrix. Let's see it's sticking out here. There's my hand for comparison. Big, big rock. There's my foot for comparison. A lot of quartz. This stuff here falls off of that mountain right there because there's a great big seam of this stuff up there. And it falls out, tumbles down here in the creek, and it erodes out. You have the bigger quartz, and then you got the smaller stuff, which we've got right here. And that's how I find gold in West Virginia, anyhow. 
but these tactics will work in any street, stream, any river, any waterway, and you will find gold anywhere you look. If there is gold present in that stream, you watch these videos and you'll find it. I'm telling you right now, I guarantee. I don't care where in the world you are, if there's gold in that body of water, you watch my videos, I'm going to show you how to find out of it. Tease a little bit up out of that ground. A little bit of my Mother Earth to give us just a, just give us a little fuzz of it. Just give us a fuzz. We ain't looking to get rich. We just have to get a little, a little fuzz of color in the pan. Anyhow, guys, I'll finish running this one. I see y'all what to look for to find gold. Conglomerates, quartz, bedrock, moss, grass roots. Uh-huh. Showed y'all how to classify. Showed y'all how to run sluices in this video and many, many other of my videos. So with that said, I'm... We will try to show y'all how to find gold anywhere in the world, anywhere, any river in the world. But if I can find a little bit of gold here in West Virginia, you can find it just about anywhere. If it's in the creeks, even a minute, minute amount, you'll find it. And I'm going to prove it when we get home when we're paying this out. Anyhow, I'll be back and we'll see y'all when we're getting ready to leave after we're all cleaned up. And then we'll head to the house. show you what we're left with. Of course we're left with my parts and about that much concentrates. So I'm going to get this stuff all gathered up. My buckets, my garbage, all my tools, all my gear and I'm going to get all this buckled up into the vehicle and we will see y'all at the house. Catch y'all there. How you dry your chucks around here. You stick them up on the roof your wet ones and then you get your dry ones down off of here you see that southern sun right yonder <laughs> that'll dry your shoes off right quick all right guys we got our classified down to our normal kitchen strainer size but we don't have a whole bunch left actually as you can see we'll paint this out right quick 
Let's see what, what kind of collar we got out of this. There's some heavies already starting to show up. Let's see, we'll keep on whipping her down. Some of that light stuff off. You can really see that hematite starting to come through now. A little bit more of it off. I think we're about good to have a little quick peek. Let's see here. Is that? No, okay. I thought that was a flake for a second. Y'all, I almost got excited. <laughs> sure looked like one, didn't it? I see a couple little pieces starting to show up. Can't get them to focus. There's a couple more. See if I can get them to show up. There they are. There's like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me, I'll be right back. Let me tap these up. There's a few in there. All right, guys. I got her tapped down. I just want to show you my hot peppers right quick. Look at them guys. I got a few of them going. So, anyhow, <laughs> socks are still wet. Here's the gold we've got, y'all. Let me get it out of the glare. A goodly bit of flyer gold. A piece of grass afloating. But there's flyer gold starting right, right there. Right there. And as you can see, it rolls right on across. Now, that bigger triangle piece you see right there, that's not gold. That's just a piece of piece of sand that's still yet there I wished it was a flake but it's not I can't claim it and then all the way over here you got some more flower gold a couple nice little flakes right there and there you have it folks gold in West Virginia and there you have it folks we didn't go out and get rich but we did go out and find a little bit of collar in west virginia a state that's not known for gold a state that ain't really necessarily supposed to have no gold in it but them tactics i'll show you showed y'all about the bedrock moss grass roots and all the roots and stuff that get down in that bedrock don't overlook that stuff guys i'm telling you there is a little bit of gold down in there anyhow We'll see you on the next Adventure Time Prospecting. This is James, and we're out.